here we have force by Mercury 40 horsepower two stroke two cylinder about 1994 vintage engine that has a, has a hard time starting even when it starts it doesn't uh, run for very long so what we're going to do today we're going to check the compression on the two cylinders and see what those uh, measurements are to do that we have to remove the uh, spark plug wire caps I'm going to take the spark plugs off working on the uh, on the engine it's a little bit harder because uh, the boat is in the water if you have it out on the dry way it's different story it's easier to work on it but on the other hand even if it starts right and it seems to run right you cannot load it on your driveway so you still need a water eventually to try it out to full extent the second spark plug is a little bit harder to get to because of the uh, of the cover but eventually you yeah, know it comes off Here you have a compression tester, a uh, very uh, basic tool, it has a gauge and some connections and it has a uh, thread uh, of three different kinds for three different spark plug sizes. We're going to take our spark plug and we're going to try to match which one will fit. Obviously it's the largest so that's the hose we're going to be using to test the compression. So to get uh, the hose inside the cylinder, just screw it uh, in the spark plug thread, do it by hand, no tools needed, it's got an o-ring on the bottom, and just turn it as much as you can by hand, that's it. And then connect the gauge. Rest it somewhere that is secure. And then crank the engine. Our reading is just about 95 psi which is very low um, obviously this is not very good cylinder it should be at minimum around 120 psi um, so we don't consider this cylinder to be good I'm gonna go to the next one A little bit harder to install because of the cover again of the engine but yet if you get it straight center it with the engine bore or the thread for spark plug is it'd be fine and just turn it as much as you can by hand
see what this one gonna do. Before you go, you have to reset the instrument by pressing the reset button. Let the pressure come out of the hose and the gauge. And now I'm gonna crank it again. So this again is 95, the same as the other one, uh, seems to be low on both cylinders. One good thing is that they are both equal, so uh, we can try this one more time, uh, but uh, it looks like it's about 95, so we're going to unplug it, we're going to release the pressure out of it. Try to. Torque this a little bit better. No, this one is torque rather, rather tight. Try one more time, just to make sure there are no leaks. So the measurement has repeated, it's 95 once again, so this is kind of a low and this engine needs an overhaul. Thank you for watching.